stage four of the Vuelta at Algarve, a race that is available live and on demand all this week on GCN+. Today was a 32km individual time trial, much longer than the last few years at this race and a distance that was sure to create some big time gaps amongst the general classification contenders. The early benchmark was set by this man, Rafael Rice of the Glass Drive Q8 team. He was second in this time trial stage at last year's race, pushing Kasper Asgreen very close at the finish and he was flying again today. The big hitters were still to come though, including this man, European time trial champion Stefan Kung of Groupama FDJ. And given how he rode on stage two summit finish on Thursday, we were expecting big things from him. And he didn't disappoint, setting the best times at both of the intermediate time checks. Remco Evenepoel is no stranger to success in this discipline either though. He won the time trial in Algarve two years ago en route to the overall win and he was intent on doing exactly the same thing this time around. The leader going into this stage, though, by a slender one-second margin, was David Godou. By his own admission, he was not expecting to keep the yellow jersey, but he has been working on his time trialling over the winter months, and so he was hoping to see the rewards for that effort today. Coming towards the finish line, and Kung was flying, bettering Tobias Foss at each intermediate check and averaging close to 50 kilometres per hour. He would eventually stop the clock at 38 minutes and 48 seconds, putting him into the provisional lead. However, Kung had a problem in the form of a 22-year-old Belgian pocket rocket. Just over halfway through his effort, and he'd already caught his two-minute man Sven Erik Bistrom, having already gone through the first time check almost 10 seconds quicker than Kung. At the next one, the gap had grown to a whopping 50 seconds. Avonapol was on a mission today, and as he neared the finish, it wasn't a case of if he'd win the stage, but how much by. He would eventually stop the clock almost one minute clear of Stefan Kung in a display of complete superiority. Stefan Kung, well, it wasn't to be for him today. A solid ride by Ethan Hayter saw him stop the clock with the third best time of the day, enough to see him move up to second on GC. Uh, big things, meanwhile, were expected from Brandon McNulty after his exceptional start to the season, but whilst it was a decent ride, it wasn't enough to trouble the podium places for the stage. For Godou, though, it was a ride to be proud of. He rode through the first time check just inside the top 20 positions. A solid middle section of the race saw him move up to 10th, and by the finish, he'd made up another position, eventually finishing 9th. The host broadcasters obviously weren't expecting that, though, as they'd put up this top ten without including his name. Uh, no doubt about the winner, though, Avonapool, a level above everybody else on the day, averaging over 51 kilometres per hour on the stage. And so this is how the general classification looks. He now leads by over a minute from Ethan Hayter in second place. It's a big lead, but tomorrow anything can happen. We've got a summit finish live for you on GCN Plus tomorrow from 1600 GMT or 1700 CET. Make sure you join us then if you can. Goodbye for now.